Hey people, and welcome back to a mod progress video that's been requested by some people. So I'll show you some of the stuff I've added to my mod since the last video. If you haven't seen the last video, I will put this as a video response to it so you can go and check it out. So the first thing I've added is randomly generated desert tomb. It's not finished yet, I've only done the outside. But eventually there'll be steps that goes down into a little tomb. There'll probably be some spawners and some chests down there. So there's also another desert thing I've added, this desert slime ruins. It really does nothing except for have a slime face in it. So I just added that randomly. And it's going to stay. And there's two more generated structures I've added. Another one is also another slime ruins that's not in the desert and it's this sort of a stonehenge feel with a slime face in the middle it only spawns on grass in many different biomes so I've added this one and there is actually one more generated structure it's called the mad lab but I'm gonna have to go searching for that so be right back when I find one and I will show you that and we're back this is the mad lab yeah it may not look mu like much from the outside but once this slime oh god it's one of these ones yeah so I'll talk about that later but this is the mad lab and this is the outside so you, you go in here there's a manhole you can go down and there's various jail cells which may or may not have slimes in them also an NPC slime Especially like Doc from Back to the Future. A couple of signs, experiments failed, and yeah, one was a minor success. So this is the Doc. He says, "Great start, Scott." Flux capacitor, 1.21 gigawatts. Marty, is that you? And he also says, "88 miles per hour." So yeah, it's supposed to be like Doc from Back to the Future. You can only see so much in a short, pixelated space, but. Yeah, that's the Mad Lab. There's no loot to be found in here yet, but I'm still working on stuff for that. So that's it for the generated structures. Now I'm going to go on to looking at the different slimes. So I'll be right back and I will set up. And I'm back. So we're going to spawn in some slimes. In fact, we don't even have to spawn in the first slime I've added. It's this red one. This drops red gel which can be used for other stuff and this slime can only be found in planes so it's basically called a plane slime so yeah this one drops red gel among other things there's also some other ones so I'm gonna spawn some in using single player commands and the first one I'm gonna spawn in is a cactus slime only found in deserts it drops cactuses slow potions of slowness among other things this one drops nothing. So, that's the cactus slime. Let's spawn in some more. And this is the moo slime. Only found in the. Well, the mushroom biome, pretty much. I've wanted to add one in for that. And this would, as you expect, drop mushrooms among other items. So, next we have the. Hi slime, this oh, I spelt <laughs> I spelt spawn wrong. That's pretty foul. Hi slime. This can only be found above 90 height in the world. It can spawn anywhere as long as it's above 90 height and it drops blue gel, which I'll go into more in a minute as well. So there's also a few more slimes left. So let's spawn in the next one. This is the nature slime, found in swamps or forests. It's a dark greenish slime. And when you kill this, it splits up between two and four mini slimes. Oh yeah. The mini slimes drop nothing, but the actual nature slime itself drops green gel. And you got a chance in getting the actual armor as well. It's like a 1 in 50 chance, I think I put it. And the next slime is the f no, that's not it. It's fiery slime. This one's only found in the Never, so 
I've added the slam to the nether and this one makes fire everywhere so it's kind of really dangerous so I would advise if you're going in the nether bring something that will protect you against fire because these things are nasty so there was there one more slime let's just put some of this fire out because it's annoying me right yeah spawn glue slime now this one I can't remember which biomes it spawns in but it does this puts this blanket of gluey stuff all along the floor and it's basically I made this by a cross between snow and soul sand so basically it goes on the surface like snow but it slows you down like soul sands and you move really slow it's kind of annoying because things can gang up you on you fast and you're slowed down so that's it for the new slimes I've added since the last time I don't think I'll be adding many more slimes but let's look at some items now we need some of the gels and as you can see we've got three four different colored gels there's also an orange gel but that doesn't do what we're doing here so you can make armor sets with these gels so you got each different color apart from the orange makes an armor set so you can make orange blue green yellow sets and the boots of each set have a special bonus apart from the green set at the moment the red boots if you wear the red boots you're immune to l fire and lava if you wear the blue ones you're immune to fall damage and the yellow ones make you immune to drowning so I'm not sure what I'm gonna add to the green ones yet but yeah I'll show you what the armor actually looks like when you put it on a bit later on top of these armor sets I've added a couple of random other items as well so to make this next item we need some glass and some wood you put a plank up there and you put glass like that and you get some jars and it's like jars that's pretty random what are you can use jars for so at the moment this only works with the red gel and you get strawberry jam yes I had a jam into the game I mean it's called minecraft so I wanted some extra stuff to craft so strawberry jam not very useful on its own but if you get some bread you can make sa strawberry jam sandwiches so you get four sandwiches per making so it is useful to use your bread up to get some extra food these heal two hearts of you no not two hearts two hunger bars each so that's the sandwiches there's one final thing to show you before the end though and I've added flowers to the mod I don't know I added five different flowers and yeah the graphics are not the greatest because I'm not an artist but I wanted to make the world more feel like you're in a modded land you're in my land so adding some flowers that spawn all over the world gives you a feel that yeah this is not default minecraft a bit more so we've got five different types we've got the brown one we've got a purple round one the pink cross the orange star and the blue star and these do nothing pretty much at the moment they may have a use in future but for now they're just to look nice around the landscape you can ignore them or use them so yeah that's pretty much all the items slimes and structures I've added and the only thing left to show you now is what armor looks like but to do that I need to go back into survival mode so I'm gonna say goodbye and leave you with some footage at the end of me in some armor so thanks for watching this mod update video and until next time oh yeah you want to know a release date I'm gonna release it in 1.2 so there you go you won't have to wait too much longer probably not but yeah I'm gonna leave it now and leave you with what the armor looks like when you're wearing it so until next time thanks for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe it really helps me out and I will see you soon goodbye